Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at installing this on the Monoprice Mini Select. Um, this is a camera mount that I've designed in OpenSCAD to go on the front here because uh, I really love using this printer. However, the um, the jarring action of watching a time lapse of the bed moving and all that just gets kind of busy. So what I decided to do was to design up a bracket. Now I've gone through a couple of iterations. I've got this this original one here that I designed up, um, and I and you know I started out building it uh, far heavier than I needed to, so I kind of scaled it back a little bit. And so the idea is is that it it mounts on these four. Um, uh, uh, Allen screws that come out, these actually hold the rod brackets in place to the to the lower portion of the bed and then uh, goes back and forth. Now one of the other pieces we have to deal with is this little bump out for the belt. So that's why I've put this overall indentation. Now I could have centered this a little bit more uh, just for that piece but I decided just to kind of make it simple and kind of go um, you know a general opening and then what happens is the bolts hold it on here. So I tell you what, let's go take a quick look at the time lapse and then uh, we're going to come back and uh, take a look at, uh, at installing it. So how do you install this on here? Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. And uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install this on here. So, what we need to do is to uh, simply remove these. Now, these aren't very long. Um, these are actually pretty short, only probably about five millimeters uh, long, and they have a little bit of a lock washer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse the wa lock washer on on my um, mount design. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Okay, now that I have these removed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip the printer up on end. And, and so, because this will make it easier pushing the bed up, I think I'll probably have to resituate re the camera. Okay, so I've resituated the camera. Now, one of the things you'll notice, um, and I think in a thing of reverse model, I might make these just a tad bit smaller. Is I left these a little bit large so I can adjust it on the bed because these, these aren't perfect. And one of the things you'll notice is that the bed, the way it's, it's situated on here, is not perfectly aligned either. Uh, this set of this set of screws are closer to the edge than this set, so it's 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 asymmetrical. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take these um, 20 millimeter M3s. I'm going to put the lock washer on top, and then to keep it from passing through the hole, I'm going to put a flat washer underneath it like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this through here and drop that in there and then take my Allen wrench and tighten this down. Now I have made the bracket on the camera mount about five millimeters thick. Um, it's about two millimeters thick on the bed so it's going to stick out a little bit proud on the bottom which is okay. Um, and before I really tighten this down, I want to go ahead and I want to get all the um, screws in and have it situated. So I'm going to jump to the other side now and do this. And, and again, because I made these holes a little bit bigger, um, I have plenty of room to work with. Because one of the things that I did on the, the first version is... Um, I, I made them just the size of the bolt and the alignment wasn't just perfect and trying to get it just perfect I just said you know what the heck I'll just make it a little bit bigger it doesn't matter because again it's going to cinch down on the uh, washer anyway and it's, it's still going to hold it so not an issue there and it just makes life a, a whole lot easier in the design process um, so washers are always forgiving and so uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and do do this one, 
and then I'm going to do my last one. And then, as you can see, because, again, because I gave myself enough room with the holes, uh, because the holes are are aligned to the um, to their counter holes on the bed. It's just that uh, it makes it a little bit easier because the 3D printer, you know, is always going to be like a millimeter off or something like that, and trying to get tight tolerances can be kind of difficult. So, um, again, as you see, now I got this all mounted. I just want to go back and do one last pass to make sure everything's snugged up. And you really want to use, reuse this lock washer too because this this has mechanical motion and the vibration could work these screws loose. I'll spit that out. However, with the lock washer in place, it's going to keep these snugged right up because it's going to provide some mechanical back pressure. So, that's now how it looks. Let me resituate you a little bit here um, to see. All right. And then what I can do is my intention is now to take this web camera and again a couple more washers. Put this washer here and then I'm going to put a washer in the bottom. And I can tighten this up. I'll probably actually end up putting a wing nut on the bottom. Got my finger on the lens. So, anyways, there you go. Now, what I can do is to get to get my focus, I can adjust this back and forth. And uh, again, the wire can just hang loose in front, and as the bed moves itself back and forth, um, it should be pretty good. So, uh, anyways. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, build interesting. Hey, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, hey, don't forget our swag shop in the corner. Holiday season's coming up, and uh, always check out something there. A lot of interesting graphics we've assembled for you guys, for the maker community, uh, for 3D printers and all that kind of stuff. So check it out. Help support the channel. Hey, and also subscribe so you keep up to date. Again, the Thingiverse link for this will be down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.